Now, the Delta variant first detected in India is now driving the third wave in South Africa. This variant is more transmissible than other variants recorded in the country so far. So, addressing the nation last night, the president, Sul Ramaphosa, saying they're concerned about uh, the rapid spread of this variant as it is easier to catch. Well, let's find out more about this Delta variant. Let's speak now to Professor uh, Alex Siegel. He is from the Africa Health Research Institute. Prof, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. Firstly, uh, let's start with uh, the major difference or differences between the beta variant, which has been dominant in South Africa, versus the newly discovered Delta variant. Oh, thank, thank you very much. So the major difference between the beta and the Delta is the transmissibility. So the beta variant um, is very good at escaping vaccines, for example, mm. while the Delta variant first uh, uh, found in India is very good at transmitting. All right, what about uh, the severity of uh, illness? Once you catch this virus, are you likely to be so severe that you need hospitalization? Well, um, some people will need hospitalization, and the symptoms are a little bit different from, from just initial reports. Uh, but uh, there's no evidence that it's this infection with this variant is any more severe than infection with the beta variant. The fear, though, Dr. Siegel, is the scenes that we saw in India uh, crematoriums completely overwhelmed. Uh, many people fear those kinds of scenes or that kind of uh, imagery. Are we not going to see any of that in the country? Well, it's, it's, you are going to have a lot of people who are uh, infected uh, with, with this variant. And uh, the scenes you're seeing in India is not because this variant um, is more severe. Mm. Uh, but uh, because there are um, uh, just more people infected and therefore the capacity of hospitals to deal with the infections uh, is lower. What about uh, the severity of this virus on children? Uh, it's hard to say right now. Again, there's no evidence that uh, this uh, variant is leads to more severe disease uh, than previous variants. Um, the, the problem with it is the transmissibility. All right. Talk to us then about um, the vaccines. What we have in the country so far is the J&J &J vaccine along with uh, the Pfizer vaccine. The efficacy of these vaccines in treating the Delta variant. We know that the Beta variant uh, has been much more difficult in trying to treat, but these vaccines that are here, they have been said to be effective. So are you saying that this Delta variant is not any more difficult to treat than the Beta? Yeah, so vaccines uh, don't actually treat infection. What they, they tend to prevent infection or at least uh, more severe disease. Hmm. Um, and they do that by uh, making our immune systems ready uh, for the virus. And uh, as far as we can see now, uh, vaccines work better on this Delta variant hmm. uh, relative to the Beta variant. All right, let's uh, wrap it up then, Professor Siegel, and talk about uh, the worst case scenario, this virus now present in about five provinces in South Africa. Uh, what are we likely to see as we are told we might likely reach the peak of this virus at least in early July? I'm not sure whether that is specific to one province, which is Gauteng, that's currently overwhelmed. I think what we're likely to see is a lot of infection and the problems will come, will come from that. As much as we can, we need to try to, to vaccinate um, uh, as quickly as possible, because that will, uh, if not prevent the actual infection, that will prevent severe disease, and there's very good evidence for that. Mm. 
So this is not, um, you know, a super variant. It's not uh, resistant to the uh, vaccines uh, in any way. It's, it's less so uh, than the beta variant. Uh, it doesn't lead to more severe disease. Mm. But what it does, it infects much better. So we, we just expect to have more people infected. Yeah. So uh, people have to be just very careful not, not to be in situations where transmission can happen. All right. Let's uh, final question then to you, Prof. I know that as scientists, you are studying this virus very closely. When are you likely to uh, get more detail or more data about the various mutations, if you like, of this variant? When are you likely to uh, come with the findings of those studies? Well, we have the samples uh, in the lab and we're growing up the, these viruses. So we'll know much more in about uh, three weeks to four weeks time, we'll have a very good idea uh, what this variant does. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Alex Siegel. He is from uh, the Africa Health Research Institute. Uh, thank you very much. Well, uh, so far you've heard uh, what this virus, the Delta virus, a virus which has first been detected in India, what it presents, it's not so much the severity of illness, but that it transmits much quicker, exactly what the president told us last night. So the caution out there is try not get yourself infected, particularly if you are a person with comorbidities.